I'm standing here with Dan and he's one of the hats behind Dear Esther. You're nominated for in four categories here yeah. at IGF. What do you say? Uh, it's just amazing. It's been kind of a bit of a roller coaster really. We um I think we just so we're so focused on getting the game finished and now that final push and you kind of lose sight of everything else around it. And so we kind of like worked so hard and crunched so hard to get the IGF build in and then completely forgot about it as we were diving through trying to get it working with Steam. So all of a sudden kind of like we're at IGF and then the game launched and the game goes absolutely crazy. So we've, yeah. we've kind of, uh, I think we're still waiting for our feet to touch the ground again really. So yeah, it's been a good couple of months. And probably a pretty thrilling uh, situation here because there are so many people interested and want to know everything about uh, the game and the process, how you did yeah, it. Yeah, it's really nice. It's, I really love, I mean, it's one of the things I love about working in games is that players are so engaged and they're so knowledgeable about it. Yeah. And they want to talk, but they don't just want to get, you know, kind of like be put off with kind of like simple answers. They're like, how did you do this? How does this work? Yeah. How do I do it? And they, even the players that aren't developers think like developers a lot of the time. I find that really inspiring. So it's been really great talking to people today. So you also have a, a, a industry background, uh, and you're no, I'm, not, I'm really? not games industry at all. I, I I did. I mean, I was modding Doom back in the early '90s. Right. I've been playing games forever. But uh, I originally I started off in a uh, in media art for uh, a right. few years, doing experimental digital art, and uh, kind of got bored with it really it kind of it was I guess it was around sort of 2000 and it felt like the scene was really dying there weren't really many new ideas and I got a job at a university and part of that was was getting some access to uh, to games and just went right. so hang on a sec I've been doing this for like 30 years yeah. this is this is what I love so I was really lucky to be able to kind of make that switch and eventually go into full-time development. Some people say that this is an art game. What would you uh, respond? I think if they want to call it an art game, they're happy to. I don't have any agenda about that. Um, we never really had any agenda apart from saying, look, if we do something a little bit differently with a first-person game, we might get a slightly different experience, and that seems cool, and that's a valid thing to do. Yeah. Um, I mean, all the way through, our, our, our focus was, is this game going to be good? Is it going to be of high course. quality? Are players going to like it? People can call it an art game if they want. I mean, it's fine. It's it's what people want it to be. That's good. Do you think that there's a need because there's discussion uh, a discussion going on about uh, should we find another uh, headline above games that are probably not games but something else? Do you think that we need a new wording for well, that or no, a, a completely so. new understanding? I think, I think all of those kind of definitions are. It's kind of weird that we never learn that those definitions are always in flux yeah. and yet but we never kind of learn they're always in flux and so we always worry about the definitions and going rather than actually if we look back there never was a stable definition for any of this kind of stuff so games is good games is fine people know what we're talking about when we're talking about games and it'll hit a point when maybe it isn't we'll go to something else but i don't think there's any way that anyone's going to be able to force that i think we'll kind of wake up one morning and find out they're actually recalling them you know kind of like x instead of <laughs> and people will go oh yeah didn't yeah. these things used to be games but yeah. Yeah, I All think right. that's... You're, you're cool with that. <laughs> I'm really, I think, it's the nice thing about kind of like moving from academia to development in a way is, is that you kind of go, you know, I don't have to worry about that anymore in that kind of way. I just go, yeah. do our players like yeah. it? Is the product good? And that's, All right. it's very liberating in a lot of ways. Good. Your game kicked off on Steam. Did it work yep. well? Uh, yeah, we launched the game on the 14th of February. Um, we paid back the investors' indie fund in five and a half hours. We sold, uh, I think, 16,000 copies the first night, 50,000 copies the first week, and we're currently at about uh, 74,000 copies three weeks in, which is, yeah, I mean, it's about kind of like 70,000 copies more than we thought we'd sell. So we're, we're kind of, uh, we're, we're pretty pleased with that. It's gone very well for us. And have there been any uh, industry uh, calls already? Uh, did they ask you to do something for whatever publisher or for Well, yeah, I mean, we've, we've been... It's amazing, once you have a product on the table, I mean, that's, that's what, again, it's the thing I like about the games industry, is that people expect to see product and they expect to be able to evaluate products. Now we have something, people can see the quality, they can see the viability in the marketplace. So we've been, we've been talking to people, yeah. But we have two games in production at the moment. One of them is... Uh, we're working with uh, Frictional Games, who made Amnesia the Dark yeah. Descent, to make a sequel for that. And we're also making an open world uh, game, which is very kind of in the same spirit as Esther. And yeah, we've been talking to people about possibly what we do after that, which is very exciting. Okay, so we're looking forward to what the, uh, the final jury will say tonight. And yeah. we cross the fingers for you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're looking forward to it too. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>